all right guys welcome back uh right before we start um uh, i know it's been a while i did not upload over a week now I'll give you guys an update on my life here um over about uh, almost two weeks now my uh my pops my dad passed away that's why i took a little break on youtube making videos but anyways um now I got that out of my chest. Let's continue on this Dodge truck. So, uh, update on this Dodge truck. As you all know, I did a CV axle on this, both side, left and right. And um, it came back because we had a noise, a noise on the front right. So I got the tires out. I looked at it and you can tell Look at that CV axle, it came loose. It came off that diff. <laughs> uh, so, it's it still drove for a, who knows, it could be like a couple of weeks. It came off, or it could be more than that. But this is a, something interesting. I'll show you guys here. So, this is where it's, sitting on the lower control arm it just keep grinding and grinding with the cv axle was spinning because of the tire spinning what caught me on my eye is uh while it's grinding and spinning look at this lower control arm i'm gonna get a good view here all right there you go so it was sitting like that the whole time while this vehicle is moving and then it ground this lower control arm off look how many material came off here this is supposed to be piece of metal goes right there and ground it off oh my god look at this show you it's hard to see because the CV axle is on the way but you get a picture and look at that just took a big chunk of metal you know it's still good here very good I don't know if you can see yeah <laughs> that's crazy let's go to the other side I'll show you what's supposed to be what it look like So on this side, I don't know if you can see, see how that one is still a piece of metal, is still intact? That's supposed to be, supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like that. But my God, that's a lot of metal. That's a lot of piece of metal was taken, shaving off. And that is crazy. Can you imagine if that thing snap in half and uh, I think lower control arm still still gonna hold if it snap in half. Because like it's it's pretty smooth now here. It just spin, 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 and then it ground it ground the whole control arm off right there that's ridiculous so what caused this and I know that uh, I should have replaced it on the beginning what caused this to pop that CV axle off was that snap ring over here I did not change it there's a snap ring in there, right here. It's a snap ring. I reused the old one, so I kind of just took the old CV axle off, popped this new one in, and did not change the snap ring. And that's what happened. When I uh, turned the wheel, it kind of stretched the CV axle out, and then it popped itself. And then it lose the tension 
on the snap ring that it would that the CV axle came off. So that's what I'm that's what I know. And I believe I'm right on this one because of this problem. So to sol solve the problem, um I hope that the treads on this CV axle here is good because the treads on this one is still good. Those those gears, those teeth, it looks like it's still good. We're gonna have to wipe it off and then wipe it off the inside of the CV axle, clean it, and then shove it back in. You're gonna have to take this whole front uh, end apart, upper bolt joint, to lo uh, lo loosen it up. Um, axle nut, caliper. I'm guessing the outer tie rod, loosen it up and then swing this whole knuckle out and then we'll shove that CV axle in. And right here is my snap ring. I picked it up from the dealer only. Uh, with tax, everything total was 15 bucks. So this is what caused that problem. So guys, uh, I'm just doing it by uh, experience here. I should have changed that new one. But here it is, that would solve the problem. All right guys, so all you need is just pop the upper bolt joint, our tie rod nut, and this will come loose, this whole knuckle will come loose. Be careful with this uh, um, brake hose right here. It's gonna get stretched, but uh, now I could move this heavy axle and just uh, slide this in on the inside. I got lots of room. That's all you need to, to take out is just two, two nuts. And uh, hopefully you get a better view here on the part I'm talking about right there. I check inside. I went to the other side. Uh, the treads on the inside of the CV axle is good. I kind of wipe off the dirt and grime and on this uh, stub shaft right here. Now I'm going to take out this uh, snap ring. Replace with the new one. So that that's all you need to take out. Uh, not much. Uh, the upper bolt joint nut and the outer tie rod nut and like I said this whole thing will swing out towards me and uh, you can uh, move that CB axle in to the stub shaft that's come out right there and that's all you need to do and then put the upper nuts back on and the outer tie rod back on that's it so I did a DIY on this already. If you look at my video, previous video from this video. So thanks for watching and uh, thanks again for uh, stay tuned to my channel. Like I said, I had that break, a couple of weeks break because I uh, just get my motivation going. Um, kind of have my uh, interest is coming back now slowly. So hopefully we'll I'll get that motivation up and uh, just continue working on vehicles. Uh, next we'll be uh, working on the Subarus, the JDM, and then uh, and uh, many things. The Prelude is coming along. I get that going when the spring is coming in. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you again.